In this video, we are going to learn how to deploy using GitHub Actions a Blazor WebAssembly non-hosted application. Using a Blazor WebAssembly no-hosted application means that we are only going to have the client project, and by that I mean the project that gets executed in the user's browser and not the web API. So let's get started. Let's create a new project. I'll write here Blazor. Blazor WebAssembly app, next. I can choose whatever name, like Blazor no hosted demo. Next, I'll use .NET 7, and again, I have to uncheck ASP.NET Core hosted and create. Now we need to create a configuration file so that routing works in the Azure Static Web App. So let's go to the Solution Explorer. Let me right click here, and I will add a new item. I'll select the JSON template here. Then I'll name this staticwebapp.config.json at, and I will delete this and put this navigation fallback rewrite index.html. Now I can close this. Now what I will do is that I will put the code of this project into GitHub. For that, I have several options. The easiest one for me is to come here and say, add to source control, git. And as you can see from here, we can push this code to GitHub. This is going to be the name of the repository. I'll make it private and then I will create and push. Now with this, the code is being pushed into GitHub. So I can come here and I can write the name of the repository. And as you can see, we have it here. Now I have to go to portal.azure.com because we're going to deploy our website into a static web app. If you don't have it here, you can always come to here and say static and you're going to have a static web apps. And in here I can click on create so that we can create a new static web app. I have to fill this form. I will use a subscription like Visual Studio Enterprise. I can create a new resource group like Blazor Demo. Okay. Then we have to put a name here like Blazor Demo Static that's available. I'll say free. I'll choose a location close to me like East US. I'll choose GitHub, though you can use Azure DevOps if you want to or other. Organization, I will choose Gavilanche, which is my username. For repository, I'll put here Blazor no hosted demo. And for branch, I will use the master branch. And in build details, I have to select Blazor. So let me select Blazor here. And then in app location, I have to choose the name of this folder, which is Blazor no hosted demo. So I will paste this here. I don't have APIs in my project, so I can delete this. This is useful if, for example, you want to have a serverless technology set up for you, like Azure Functions. But again, we don't have that. And output location, dub, 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 root is fine. So let me review plus create and create. This is going to create that static web app. And it is done. Now I'll go to the resource and I can click on here on this banner. And this is going to send me to this page in which we have our GitHub actions. And we can see that we have a deployment happening. We actually have two, which is weird, but what matters is that this is automatically taking this code that we have here in code. This is the code of our application. And now it is pushing that code into our a static web application. This may take a few minutes, so I will just speed up the video. And as you can see, this is done. So we can go back here and I can open my website by clicking on this URL. And as you can see, we have our website up and running. But what happens if we want to update it? For that, we only have to make a new commit to our repository. For example, let's come back here to Visual Studio I'll just make an update in the index component, like hello from GitHub actions. I'll save, I'll click on this pencil and I'll say updating the grid, commit, I'll push. Then I'll say pull them push because we have some updates in the remote repository that we don't have in our local repository. So we have to pull those changes before we can push our changes into GitHub. And then automatically, this is going to create a new GitHub action. As you can see here, we have a third job running. So we have to wait a few minutes and then we're going to have that update push into our Azure Static Web App. And this is done. So we can go back to our Blazor application and we can refresh. 
And as you can see, we have hello from GitHub Actions. If you want to learn more about Blazor, please buy my Udemy course today. I also have courses on Entity Framework Core, Concurrency in C Sharp, among others. Link with a discount in the description of this video. Thank you.